Hi guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Revel BMW Z1 and here are a few pictures of the box art so you can see what you're getting on the front, the sides and the back. Nothing remarkable or out of the ordinary, nice box art and the only sort of real noticeable thing is the little holographic sticker on the back which says licensed by BMW AG which means it's an officially licensed product which you do sometimes get with model kits. Inside the box we've got the instructions which are in typical Revell format, <coughs> A4 size um, with a description on the front, the BMW Z1 was originally created as a concept car that was not intended for production in January 1985. It actually came into production in 1987 due to popular demand. And we have a, uh, a decal sheet with a good range of decals and different number plate options and what have you. Uh, the one thing that I always like about Revel kits is you get a sprue breakdown so that you can see exactly what you should have in the kit and you can quickly and easily see if any parts are missing. And then your typical clear detailed instructions. We're not going to go through all the pages. I mean you've seen the decal uh, you've seen the instruction sheet before. You know you know what's what there. And we then have a selection of sprues and the, uh, the parts. So here we've got the body tub which is really nicely detailed. A uh, little mould line on the rear quarters there. I think that's a mould line. I'll have to double check before I sand that smooth. Uh, but otherwise very very nicely detailed. I'm just going to uh, kind of come in up here. So you can get a good look at that. And you can see the really nicely printed detail under the bonnet section there. And of course, down here, you can see the high sills and unusual cutouts for the novel sliding doors. Uh, this is the thing that attracted me to this kit. I'm not a fan of BMWs as a rule but those, uh, those sliding doors are just really, really cool. Um, I like anything that's a bit quirky. So we've got a selection of sprues. Uh, on the whole, they're very clearly very well moulded. There, there is quite a bit of flash on this kit, but I've got a feeling that this is actually a repop. This one in this box with the yellow car on the front, I think is a repop of the kit that uh, Revel originally did and the original box art if unless I'm mistaken had a, a red BMW on the front and it's possible that uh, that this is just uh, just retooled well not retooled it's repopped from from the old mold which may be why there's a little bit of flashing on some of the parts like on here and on the wheels and what have you nothing too bad easy enough to clear up but as you can see on here we've got exhaust parts suspension parts wheels and uh, inlet manifold parts and on this card here you've got the parts for the sliding door assemblies i think once built and completed these actually slide up and down which would be really cool we'll uh, find out as we go on with that on this one here you've got the floor pan and dashboard components the roof and uh, and the recaro bucket seats i'm just going to bring this up here and focus in on the roof for you uh, just to show you the detail on that because i think that's really really nice it's they've really captured the detail of the fabric roof there and while most people would probably make this as a convertible i think i will make this with the roof on but I'll probably not fix the roof so you can actually lift it on and off for display purposes. This one here has got the base floor pan, which is quite nicely detailed. Um, I suppose it's relatively accurate because I believe the original one has a pretty much a flat floor pan anyway uh, to help with aerodynamics. And then we've got some engine parts and steering wheel and possibly brake disc parts there I think, parts of the front grille, 
and pedals, windscreen wipers, and that ha what have you. That's quite nice actually, separate windscreen wipers, uh, because moulded in ones are always a real pig to paint. So, uh, so that's cool. And, and then the final sp sort of sprue that's in, in the big bag of parts, we've got the, the rear portions for the Recaro seats because these are painted to match the body colour, so that's nice to see those separate. The front windscreen, which looks interestingly fragile, so I'm going to have to be quite careful with that and a bit of flashing on that as well. Front and rear bumpers, the boot lid, uh, wing mirrors and the doors, the outer door skins and the bonnet, of course. But um, So that's that one there. And we have four really soft, squishy vinyl tyres with quite a nice tread pattern. Um, the logo is not the best in the world. And um, being Dunlop SP Sport, uh, it looks a little large, but you know, it's okay. Um, I can, I can cope with that. We can, uh, we can, uh, we can put up with that, I think. So four very nice squashy, rubbery uh, vinyl or what have you tires, rubber, whatever they are. We've got a, a small chrome sprue which has the rear view mirror and wing mirror inserts and a couple of other bits. I'm not sure what they are just yet. They may or may not get left in chrome or they may be stripped and repainted depending. The the mirror bits are probably I'll probably just leave the other bits, it just depends what they do. Uh, that's in a separate bag. And then in another separate bag is the clear sprue, which is nice as well, with all of the parts uh, being clear. We've got the rear lenses, the rear window, the windscreen, and the, um, the headlight lenses. There's no side glass for the doors. So the doors are basically just, just the doors without windows by the look of this, because there's no separate side glass, but uh, being relatively flat, I suppose if you wanted to, you could use acetate sheet if you actually wanted to mould the windows. And uh, that's an interesting thought. I don't actually have any of that, but mm, who knows? Might, uh, might look at that as a possibility. So that's what's in the, uh, in the box and in the bags. Uh, that's all the parts for the BMW Z1 two-seater coupe, sports coupe thingamabob. And uh, moving all that back over there. So the next stage, there's quite a few parts to this, so it'll be, it'll be interesting assembling it. And the next stage is going to be a case of giving everything a good clean in soapy water, rinse it off uh, and let that dry to get rid of any potential mold release and get rid of li a little bit of the flash and then look at getting that in primer. We'll see you uh, in the next video with an update with some parts sort of uh, when we get to the assembly primer and what have you stage. Thank you for watching.